like your hair? So I am a swing sous chef. Worked here for a year. It's been a year and one month now. I started off as dishwasher, so I had to work up and work my way through the ranks. But so it goes, man. So it goes. Okay, how long have you worked here? I worked here for five years. Explain to me the responsibilities as a swing sous chef. Well, as a swing sous, I mean, it's basically like. Uh, a leader without uh, any of the like super um, bureaucratic parts, I would say. Like mostly just like leading shifts, making sure things go smoothly, making sure everyone's set up, uh, helping people, uh, teaching people the new stations, making sure everyone has what they need. Uh, sometimes we have to look at like scheduling and, and labor budgets, making sure we hit our labor budgets on the day, and basically just being. Uh, like the right hand man to the, the head chef and to the higher sous who we can work with. Oh, basically it's just being a swing sous, you know, just not being on salary. The big franchise restaurant has a lot of options on the menu. And to be a swing sous chef, you gotta know it all. So, recruit, which is layman's terms, is dishwasher. And then you have sushi. And then once you're done with sushi, you move up to salads. You don't have to go to the camera. Yeah. And then you go to appetizers, pan fry, the grill, boiler, and the oven. The best analogy for like the kitchen, it's like a sports team where every person has a certain role and if everyone has to do their job to make sure that you know the restaurant stays afloat. With the kitchen job being unique to many other styles of work, there's a specific language that they speak amongst each other and throw around different words. words being thrown around that we would that the average person would understand, like what's a GFL? A GFL is a, it's called, it stands for Guest for Life, so basically if you come in here and someone has a bad experience and they're, even one person out of a party has a bad time, the food's overcooked, it comes out late, uh, we miss an allergy, uh, forbid that happens, you know, then uh, the idea is it, that customer is worth more than just that experience, but we want to have them come back, so we're going to pay for their meal. So our GFLs is like, we have a budget for that and we want to try to minimize how many of those we have to give up. I mean, some other terms that are good in the kitchen is like you know, spin, so the chicken breast, dirty, dirty breast, you know, Caden chicken, that's always fun. Nine top in! Ten top, which means like ten, ten items, five top, five items, so like if a group of people comes in and say party of ten, then the host is going to tell the manager, and the manager is going to tell the Sue, and the Sue is going to yell to the line, ten top in! And basically, this means prepare for ten items that are coming in. Would you say this is a hostile environment? Has to be. Has to be. Because that's the only way you're going to get better. If it wasn't a hostile environment and the people were calling you all the time, you would think it would be okay to make the same mistake over and over again. But you have to get that mistake in mind as soon as it happens. That's why it has to be a hostile environment. So what would you say is the hardest part about this job? And management. Because you have to find different ways to motivate people. There's 10 people online right now. Probably I'd say one or two people have the same motivational goal as mine. So it's easy, you know, for me to like relate to them. But with other people, I have to find ways like, hey, like we need to do this faster. But I have to give them a logical reason to why I'm telling them to do that. Given the fast pace of the kitchen, I wanted to know if stress really affected everyone who worked there, whether if that was just personal or actually universal. Uh, I would say that for a lot of people, they would say this is a really stressful job as far as jobs go. Almost everyone vapes at this point. Uh, when I first started working here, there was kind of an older crowd working here and everyone smoked. But the thing is, like, when you vape or you smoke, it's like a little five minute break, so people tend to just want to take that five minute break to get off the stress of line or take a moment to unwind, chill the back, talk, catch up with your buddies that are working on another station. So yeah, there's, def there's definitely a higher percentage of people that use like nicotine and stuff like that here than, than most workplaces I would get. The job of a sous chef certainly isn't for everyone, but if there's one thing I took away from my visit, those who are most passionate are typically the most successful in their environment.